Good evening, everyone. It's Wynn Brown here with Haywood Healthcare's COVID-19 update for June. Yes, it's June, everyone, June 1st. I uh, hope you had a great day. Uh, we had a very solid day at Haywood today, strong inpatient volume, ER volume, and our ORs uh, continued to ramp up as we uh, return to surgery in our new normal and appreciate our patients uh, trusting us in the work that we're doing uh, to provide excellent service, excellent care, and um, above all and beyond safety uh, at an exceptional level. So thank you, everyone. Let's go right to our testing, which is how we usually start. Uh, we have tested 5,217 individuals, 4,561 negative, 481 positive, 68 indeterminate for a cumulative positive rate of 9.4% versus the state at 16.4. Our 10-day rolling average is at 3.72%, and the state is at 6.43% for its rolling average. So that is the lowest by far we have seen the state uh, since the beginning of this pandemic, quite frankly. So that is, a, that is a good number as we look at our trend rates. And, you know, we want to come down and we want to maintain a very low level of the incidence in our community so that we can uh, function uh, and take care of everyone uh, who comes to us for their care. Worcester County's total cases are up to 11,018 and Franklin is just up to 320. So uh, and as you know, I always say we sit in between those two counties and so that's why you see the rates where you see them, I think. Uh, we have two positive inpatients, uh, one in our ICU, one on Watkins 1, and five patients under investigation. Uh, as you know, that means we're awaiting their test results to come back. Uh, if you want to receive regular updates like this uh, in, on, in your inbox, you can visit haywood.org backslash email and sign up. We've had a ton of people sign up for that, and it's just super easy to do. And, uh, and we come right to your inbox, and that just makes uh, life easy, and you understand what's going on uh, at your locally controlled and owned health system. Uh, we have a shout out to Dan French, and you've heard me say his name a lot uh, during these updates. He is uh, the director of our laboratory services across the system. And our, our Sunday uh, nursing supervisor said, shout out to Dan for being awesome. Always answers us and tracks down COVID-19 tests that are taking a long time to come in. We really, he is really, oh, sorry, he is very appreciated by us. So again, and I appreciate Dan and the great work that he does. Uh, our laboratory services uh, have been incredibly important during this pandemic. And we're lucky that we have a solid team there uh, doing all that great work. And also a shout out to the Hamji team, uh, our Haywood Medical Group team that is doing the uh, testing for COVID-19 now on the Haywood campus and at Tully uh, Walk-In Care in Athol. So they're the frontline folks doing the testing for us, in addition to our ER staff that do it as well. That is a good segue to community testing. Uh, starting yesterday, we began doing community testing, uh, and that community testing is available to anyone who wants to be uh, tested for COVID-19, whether or not you have symptoms or not. Uh, you simply have to, um, uh, on this email, you can find the phone number to call in and get an appointment. We give you an appointment and you arrive by car and you're tested outside behind the old annex building across the street from Haywood Hospital. Uh, but we need to make sure that we manage that queue effectively because there's also patients who are coming through who have symptoms uh, and are being tested. And also anybody coming for a surgical procedure at Haywood or Athol hospitals have to get their testing as well. So we can't have, you know, 100 people arrive at the same time during the day. So we're stacking you up in an, with an appointment. So if you're doing that, please arrive on time for your appointment. Don't arrive early, but arrive on time. So thank you for that. Uh, we also uh, just, uh, I know that people in the uh, western part of our service area uh, continue to look for primary care providers. Obviously, uh, we have uh, independent providers in the region, Dr. Heidi Foley, Dr. Tacker, Dr. Murak, and D Dr. Sol Regine in that region. And we also have uh, Dr. Ashley Warner, who has established a practice in Orange. Um, and uh, we're announcing that we are moving her practice into the old TD Bank building in downtown Orange later this year uh, after we do some renovations uh, because we are um, in the process actually of selling our West River property. And so we're going to move her there. So uh, just if you want, you can visit haywood.org backslash Ashley Warner and you can learn more about her. And just a final shout out and thank you uh, for everybody who continues to support us with PPE, that, that flow of PPE from our community sewers uh, and folks who donate those things uh, to us out of their inventory or through their own personal connections is incredibly important. 
part of us being able to return to surgery and increase the uh, number of appointments in all of our programs has to do with the state requiring us to have a 14-day supply on hand of PPE. And we do that through our own uh, sourcing of, of goods, but also through the support of our community. And that is how we've gotten to where we are today uh, in solid shape as your, as your community-owned health system that's on its journey to be one of the best in America. So thank you for all you do. I hope you have a great evening and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.